Michuo Fuchida, a Japanese fighter pilot who became a Christian. This is his story. I am Mitsuo Fukida. I am a captain in the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service during World War II. On December 7, 1941, I was responsible for coordinating the entire aerial assault on the bombing of Pearl Harbor. On June 4, 1942, I was on Akaji, an aircraft carrier of the Imperial Japanese Navy during the Battle of Midway. During the intense fighting, our ship was struck by bombs, causing an explosion that threw me to the deck, shattering both of my ankles. I had to endure several months of recovery before I could regain my strength. After a period of recuperation, I received a promotion to the rank of captain. Just one day before the first atomic bomb devastated Hiroshima, I happened to be in that city attending a week-long military conference. It was during this time that I received a long-distance phone call from Navy headquarters, urgently summoning me back to Tokyo. Little did I know that this call would save my life, sparing me. From the destruction that awaited Hiroshima the following day. The day after the devastating bombing, I returned to Hiroshima as part of a team sent to assess the damage. Shockingly, all of the members in my party eventually succumbed to radiation poisoning, but I somehow survived the ordeal without displaying any symptoms. In the aftermath of the war, I went to meet with a group of returning Japanese prisoners of war. To my astonishment, I discovered that my former flight engineer, Kazuo Kanegasaki, who we had believed died in the Battle of Midway, too was among them. When I asked him about his experiences, Kanegasaki revealed that they had not been subjected to torture or mistreatment while in captivity. Much to my surprise. He went on to recount the story of a young woman named Peggy Covell, who had served them with love and respect despite her missionary parents being killed by Japanese soldiers on the island of Panay in the Philippines. This account left me very confused and I want to understand why anyone will show such compassion and forgiveness towards their enemies. In the autumn of 1948, I found myself passing by Shibuya Station when a pamphlet was handed to me. It tells me the story of Jacob Dicheza, an American war pilot who had been captured by the Japanese, but after the war he came back to Japan and tried to help the Japanese rebuild in Jesus' name. The pamphlet was titled, I was a prisoner of Japan. Reading Dicheza's account increased my curiosity about the Christian faith even more. I bought a Bible and read it diligently. In February 26, 1950, I made the decision to believe in Jesus and commit myself to the teachings of Christ. This choice upset some of my countrymen who were displeased with my newfound Christian faith. Determined to share my testimony and the message of Christianity, I established the Captain Fukida Evangelical Association based in Seattle, Washington. I dedicated myself full-time in traveling to various places is speaking about my conversion and the profound impact faith had on my life. I tell people that I know you long for peace as well as world peace. And real peace comes only through Jesus Christ.